okay, so this gentleman now has tried to send his CAM file over to the MASA. Once again, proving exactly what I'm saying. So bad. Okay, now let's go and see if they ended up on the MASA. So it seems as if uh, there's a limitation there. You can only send one file at a time, which is pretty strange, but let me do that quick. Okay, let's have a look now. Okay, so both of them are there now. This end user was nice enough to show the entire MASA workflow using CAM software, which is Vetric, producing the files he showed you on a real PC, and then transferring those files to the MASA as an intermediary where, once again, it's built in motion control software and touchscreen run the software. Now, does it have some sort of processing unit that will process the motion control software? Yes, it does. Is it a magical device? No, it's not. Now, the fact of the matter remains, is this the right device for you? Now, see, unlike most YouTubers, I don't believe in bullshitting you. I want you to know the truth. 